Welcome back, Nephilims, to yet another not-so-perfect guide for the Frost Hydra. Now, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that sub button and tickle that bell. Now, this week, we hit around 150 subs, which is a milestone for the channel. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subbed and for anyone who are choosing to sub and move forward with us. Thanks all. It's been great. So moving on to the actual reason why you're here. Uh, this build has two variants. One is Frost, which I'm going to show you today, and the other is Fire. So if people want to see the Fire variant, let me know in the comments below, and I'll add that to the list. So, what are we rocking? Uh, well, first up, we are looking at the brand new set for Season 20, which is the Typhoon's Veil. Uh, main weapon is a Death Wish, and Etch Sigil in the offhand. You're looking at the Halo of Karini and Convention of Elements in your rings. You can swap out the Cov for uh, you know, a Unity if you're pushing solos, and make sure your follower has one as well. Uh, in the Amulet, we have Squirt's Necklace. In Gloves, we have Tasker and Theo. Bracers, we have Ashnagar's Blood Bracer. Witching Hour for the Belt. Now, the Ledge Gems are Taeguk, Bane of the Trapped, and Enforcer. And in the Cube, we have Serpent Scepter, the Magistrate and the Royal Ring of Grandeur. Moving on to the skills, your left click you want Hydra Frost Hydra, right click you want Arcane Torrent Flame Wand, slot 1 you want Storm Armor Power of the Storm, slot 2 Magic Weapon Deflection, 3 you want Teleport Safe Passage, 4 you want Black Hole Absolute Zero. Your passives you want Illusionist, Unwavering Will, Audacity and Galvanizing Ward. Now moving on how to play. What you're seeing here is the T16. On first entering a rift, or an Ephelim rift or a greater rift, you want to hit your storm armor and magic weapon. That gives you all your extra juice and buff. Now this build again is fairly simple to play out. Uh, basically you want to place two hydras down and then black hole in the center to get the hydra frost nova. And then you channel away. What you'll also find is that once you channel, it will also pop a black hole. So make sure you're channeling near the Hydras for maximum effect. And if you have an Elite, I would recommend popping it on an Elite, your Hydra, and then Black Hole as well, just to give it that extra damage. Be warned that this is a slow build and you're not going to be running around like a Whirlwind Barb or even the Veers build or Frenzy or anything like that. But this build does pack a punch and it's fairly easy to gear for. Uh, I hope this guide has helped you in some way. Don't forget to hit that sub button and tickle that bell to get all the latest content on my channel. My name is DB and I hope to see you all again soon.